Hola mi amigos, Rocco de Tachi here and welcome to some more anime figure unboxing and we are unboxing in this one the lovely Senorita Violet as you can see and she does look absolutely beautiful already I can tell that Mega House are going to blow my mind for not the first time really so looking at the box here as you can see we've got the portrait pirate saying again down there in the side we've got violet's name there we've got a picture of her with the rose in between her lips doing the tango which looks absolutely amazing we've got a giant window showcasing her there as well and the box is just filled with pinks with little bits of uh, glistening stars and some roses as well it really does throw off a tango vibe doesn't it it's absolutely amazing and i'm really loving what they've already done with this box. Let's go on to the side here. As you can see, we've got a continuation of the same style window. We've got the roses, the pink still going on as well, and the bigger picture of the figure. And oh my God, again, she looks absolutely beautiful. As we go to the back here, as you can see, uh, all the different uh, pictures of the figure from each side, uh, as well as the continuation of the theme of the pink going on and the roses. And it's just, it just is a very, very beautiful box. Very eye-catching, this one. As we go to this side, we've got another picture of her. We've got all the roses still again, another window. And we've just got a little cheeky picture down here as well of her holding the rose in between her lips. And as we go to, I won't, will mention here, obviously, sticker of authenticity, very important. I always do that. Um, as we go to the top here. Oh, I've always lost it then. Uh, as you can see, Still very, very nice at the top here. We've got another picture of the figure, another one on this side here, continuation of the theme as well. And it's just, it's a very, very beautiful box, this one. It really is. It's just, it stands out quite nicely. At the bottom here, brickwork, and we've got the portrait pirates and the veilet, uh, violet, rather. Veilet, where did veilet come from? Uh, <laughs> so there we are, that is the box. Let's do some unboxing. Oh guys, she is beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. I said she would be beautiful and I was right. So before we go into positives and negatives, let's have a look at the accessories and talk about the setup as well. So let's first of all, let's talk about the accessories. I'm doing this a different way around. I've got to get hold of the plastic a second. So as you know, she does come with another face and my God, she looks so gorgeous with this face. She really does so. I need to pop this back down here. You can hear all the plastic being uh, moved about. So here, she, here is her extra head, uh, which looks absolutely beautiful. If i am got that zoomed in correctly, there we go. So you can actually see, and a little attention to detail on the rose as well there. Very nice there from Mega House. I am very much looking forward to displaying her with this head. This is the head I will be displaying her with. Um, and there's, there's no doubt about it in my mind. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, uh, Head really, <laughs> basically, and of course she does come with an extra arm here as well, which you can see in the plastic. Um, and as you can see, skin tone is done nicely as well. They have painted her nails as well, if you can see that. So very nicely done. So that is the uh, accessories. Small, an extra head, extra arm. I like it. Uh, as let's go back to her and let's talk about setup. Very simple to do, really. You've just got to pop her arm out of here. Uh, to remove the plastic and uh, that will come off of, uh, first of all, off of her dress, then you take it off of her arm and then you take it off her head. Simple as that. You then slot her into the base. Now, I want to mention this base is, uh, it's, it's a normal portrait pirate's base, which you will see uh, once I pick her up and everything, but she does have quite a lot of weight there on this dress. So I'm wondering in the future if there might be leaning issues. Possible, possible. Um, without actually obviously having her for years, I can't tell you, but you know, it all remains to be seen. But she does slot in there quite easily. I had a little bit of a, a little bit of a, of a effort to, to use, but she did go in there once I slotted her in, in the right way, as it were. So that's uh, the setup. Let's go in now. Oh yeah, for the close up and those positives and negatives. So close up, moving her in, as you can see already, absolutely gorgeous face they've captured violet's personality perfectly i think she's got a determination about her as she's doing her dance it looks absolutely fantastic i'm really liking as well here the rose up the top here i don't know if you guys can see that let's try and 
I'm going to have to try and do these videos a different way, I feel, at some point. Uh, because I'm always doing them this way, but we'll, we'll see what we can do for the future. Anyway, a lovely hair clip at the back here as well, which is uh, nicely painted. As we go down the side here, as you can see, the dress is absolutely sublime. It really is. Uh, really loving the sort of the metallic red paint kind of feel on the ruffles, as you can see. It looks very, very lovely, and it certainly does sort of throw off uh, sort of the style of a uh, dress that uh, you would see as well uh, for. Uh, Spanish dancers so I think they've absolutely nailed that uh, and of course uh, you can see the hair as well here very very nicely done lots of strands going off in different directions to show the flow of movement so really really liking that as we come down to her shoes here you can see her shoes are being painted nicely as well as you can see she's not entirely into the base let's see if I can get to her, her heels there we go so you can see her heels there nicely painted quite uh, shimmery as well so nice effect there and the base as you can see we've got sort of black and red going around here as well to match up with the style of the dress as well so liking that now negatives i don't know if you guys saw it but there is a massive seam line going right the way down here uh of course you won't notice this because you'll be looking at her from the front but you can just see that there there is a big big ass seam line going all the way down there right the way down uh that is the only thing i can spot that's negative and of course like i say the fact she may she may lean um another positive there is i've just noticed actually you can just see like the indentation here in her dress there which is uh really really nicely done as well didn't notice that until I sort of put her back on there so yeah, she is freaking awesome. She really is. Once again, mega house. You've knocked it out of the park. I'm very, very happy. Um, it just remains, obviously, for a size comparison and those pictures to come up. So, and of course, the final verdict as well, which may or may not have gone. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, she is pretty amazing. I think actually one of the final verdict is going to cross because I'm actually going to put it across right now. Um, Let's talk about the back of here, so the backdrop they've gone for here. It's nice, um, it is quite nice. I would have preferred if they just kept it as a brick wall rather than having the picture of the figure in the background, which, um, let, me, let me just remove her a sec and you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see the backdrop here. Um, and like I say, you've got this lovely brickwork going on and you've got a little bit of the sea by the looks of things as well uh, in the background, which I think is very, very uh, nice to see. Uh, but it just ugh, why why have the figure there? If you just left that blank, that would have been fine for photos. I mean, yeah, I probably will use it for photos anyway. But it, it's just annoying to sort of having the figure there in the background because you know when you do a uh, figure photo shoot, you you want a plain background. You know, you, you know what I mean by plain. I don't mean plain plain background, but I mean just a background that hasn't got any other figure in it. <laughs> so. That's generally what's happened here. So I am a little bit frustrated at that, but otherwise I've got to say Mega House, you are you are once again by far freaking awesome. You really are, and I, I can't wait to display it with the bros. I just, I know I can't, I really can't. The turntable's decided that it wants to give you a spin, so uh, why not? Uh, before we go into a, a, a size comparison, I don't know, I'm just trying to sort of bring her around and, and spin her at the same time, so there we are. Ole! Uh, <laughs> right, okay, so that's me done. Um, I'll see you guys soon for some more anime figure unboxing. Plenty more on the way on the channel, so I will see you for that. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.